All right, kids, Prince of Greece here. It's been a while since I uh, made the last update video on the truck. Uh, probably a few days, uh, maybe three, four days worth of work. Um, I got all the floor out again, and the reason being is um, I had to remake the clutch linkage. I had to modify the entire linkage um, first reason is I think whoever installed that linkage it doesn't look original because I can see welds on it and it's not really um, it's like the welds are off to one side I'll see if I can show it to you there um, yeah right there So that doesn't look like it's from the factory, but anyways, uh, I think so. I think that whoever made it installed it when the cab was lower. So right now, the cab. This is the height the cab is going to sit in. It's quite a bit higher than what it was when I got it. And if you remember from the first videos that I made. Um, the uh, the floor was so rotted out, or rather there was nothing left of it, that this part was actually sitting on the fuel tanks, on, on the uh, diesel tanks here. Um, so I think they made it in a way that uh, they made that linkage and it was working fine um, with the cab being that way. But once I lifted off the cab, uh, the, ca the uh, clutch no longer really worked for that reason. And... The uh, shaft for the clutch used to be on a piece of channel that used to go here. And since I removed it, again, that uh, outer shaft that would hold that bolt that I'm going to show you. Uh, this long bolt here, it went to the garbage too. Uh, so I had to make this entire setup here. And I'm, I'm really satisfied with this here. So I got a piece of block that's not even plate steel, that's block steel. I welded it to a piece of uh, solid pipe here that I, I uh, drilled to size. Then I drilled the hole there. I welded that thing on too with the bolt on the other side. And this required a lot of work, a lot of machining work. So I had to drill through and then leave a... I left a, a countersunk hole, so I made a bigger, a big hole and then a smaller hole so that the bolt wouldn't go all the way through, just that it would go in and then I welded the end, uh, sanded, grinded it off, then welded the whole thing around there, so. So same here, and the nice thing about this is that it's got adjustment both ways, so it can move this way, but it could also move in and out if need be. I welded that pipe there and that's to keep all the junk off from getting into the cab uh, from the uh, clutch, the hole for the clutch uh, pedal linkage here. I had to drill that other hole there because the linkage ended up being too short. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, everything else is all the holes. I filled in these holes just today some sanding and some grinding. I put this uh, seam sealant on too. And over here you can barely see it because my welds are so good. I had to make this longer as well. This is a solid pipe here. So again I had to machine out the grooves. Well, did I didn't bother with uh, grinding the welds in the truck, and I had to do the same thing over there. Finally, welded uh, this narrow flat bar here to cover this hole. Back of the cab is all welded up. 
a lot of welding here and uh, I was going to curve there's this part was just so rotted out um, and I had to cut it through so I, I would have had to weld all the way from here to there on this little thin stuff that was on here so I just decided to go ahead and put the angle on it and the fun thing about this is that you can do this <laughs> and uh, as you can see nothing happens <laughs> I think that's so nice I just think this is this is so so awesome like uh, awesome amazing indescribably beautiful finish grinding that there it's like my style of body work here <laughs> So I did that. Uh, there are some holes here I just patched up as well. And these things just take time. A little piece there. Everything is welded. Except from this and this. I need the helper here to hold that so I can weld it. Everything's finished. Now this part is going to stay straight and flat. I prefer it that way. Um, but obviously it's not what it would have been originally and uh, on the other side it's different so oh well maybe I should do that on the other sides that both sides are equal but again it's just it's a work truck uh, normally I like to make things extremely durable and good-looking uh, but in this case uh, we don't really have a necessity for making it good-looking so it's going to probably stay that way. Just make it uh, extremely durable. Over on the other side here, I had to, because I, I have, I made this channel here, this cross frame member here. Um, it caused the, uh, the uh, brackets here for the uh, filter, for the air filter to not be able to see it in at least on this side so I had to machine out those little spacers and install them as well uh, finish welding this part getting everything uh, all the seams closed had to buy uh, I changed I don't know if I said that before or not but I changed these mounts so they were much smaller, I went with these much bigger ones here. Uh, I actually spent uh, half of the day yesterday making the flange that goes onto the turbo here. But it's, it's away right now, so I'll show it to you when it's done in the next video. I actually curved this part here so it's nice and it's actually stainless here. I welded this all the way and it turned out pretty amazing. I think yeah, I still need to do some grinding here with this little piece of patch here. This is just so strong like <laughs> Welded here as well. A lot of welding. Small welds here. Fill in these holes here. Put some primer paint on everything just uh, to prevent the rust from ruining the work that I did. Uh, and I closed this all up here as well. As you can see, this again required a lot of work. And the reason I closed this hole off is because this is where the cab started to rot in the first place. So water would just get in, into here before there was this here. Water, mud, crap, salt. And it would just get in there under the frame and stay there. So this is all blocked off now. Um, what else did I do? 
Chain the two bolts on the transmission there. Had to do some rambler work, so that was one of the reasons why I kind of stopped. But anyways, and finally, I got these babies here. 45 degrees. And 90 degree elbows. Put my finger there so you can compare. See how thick that is. This is the exhaust pipe that I got from a friend of mine. And this is what the original exhaust looks like. Not much left of it. So, the problem that I have with the heavy duty exhaust on the truck is for a car, um, I was able to use this machine, the pipe bender here with the dies to bend the pipes uh, to the angles in the way that I wanted it. Um, and also the flanges, the fittings were easier to find. But I'm going to be honest with you that it's the first time that I'm working um, with a pipe this big and with fittings of this size. And the problem with that is well, rather, there's no problem with it. Rather, the problem that arises from that is that most shops will not have anything that you can use for something heavy duty. They'll have this crap, this junk here. They'll have flanges and, and uh, brackets and um, clamps for them, but not really for this. So I'm having to, I had to look around, call around for a uh, uh, those fittings and again I have no way no way of curving this pipe uh, and so that was kind of my major problem there I have no way this pipe will not fit uh, that uh, pipe bender and there it's I've never seen a pipe bender this big that would fit anything this thick and heavy so I ended up having to call around to the plumbing store a few plumbing supply stores to get this stuff here and fortunately it was not very expensive uh, I think these ones cost seven dollars and these ones cost twelve so it's still pretty it's a very de decent price not the cheapest but for something that's gonna last eternally it is pretty cool so it is funny though <laughs> that I have to go to a plumbing supply store to get parts for my exhaust Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that was on. Anyway, so in the next video, I'll we'll probably uh, start painting. I uh, still have to do some a lot of grinding, welds, make everything smooth, and then some bodywork, painting, and uh, exhaust. See you in the next video.